First of all, we'd like to congratulate you on your decision to become a part of our Wave 10 program. Now before you do another thing, you need to stop and watch this video. It's absolutely critical and here's why. During the sign up process, two things are going to happen. One, we're going to create an account inside of our Wave 10 program. The second thing that's going to happen is we're going to create an account inside of our virtual mobile banking platform so that you can get paid daily. Now that mobile banking platform account that we're going to create for you is an FDIC insured bank account just like if you went to any bank and said I'd like to open up an account. Now during the registration of your mobile bank account you're going to go through a virtual verification process. Remember this is for your security and the reason behind the verification is to prove that you are who you say you are. So that means that you have to use your own personal social security number and the information about yourself has to be accurate. It has to be just like you would see it in your social security records or on your driver's license. That information has to match. And the other thing is that you're creating a personal bank account not a business bank account so if you wanted to sign up using an LLC or a corp you can't do that during this sign up process after you're all registered then you can change your account settings inside of your wave 10 members area and update it to whatever you want to put for your business account so if you you don't add the accurate information or you get flagged for uh, your details not matching up with the verification process that they take you through then you're going to have to go through a manual process so with that you'll have to fax in the appropriate identification information and you won't be able to complete the registration process until you get manually verified by the bank so take your time double check make sure you get all the information accurate the other thing that's really important is that you use your actual physical address. Now a number of you may use PO boxes because you can't have mail delivered to your actual physical address. If you use a PO box or a different address and you want your card shipped to that address on the next page that we cover you'll enter your shipping address there and your card will be shipped to the address that you give there. The second part of the sign up process is now in the mobile money bank banking platform. So all of your information will be pulled over. First thing we want to do is add the password when we get to this page. And the things that you want to I want to point out here right away is first of all, if you do need a different address for sending your card to, you simply uncheck that box, fill in your information here, and your card will be shipped to this appropriate address that you give here. Now, uh, the CAPTCHA is basically again so that we can protect you. So you fill in this information and if you can't read this part of the code then you simply click show a different one and it'll refresh and give you a different one. So we simply type in the code and click continue. Then we get to the confirmation page. You can choose to print out this document and save this in a safe place because it has details pertaining to your mobile money bank account or you can select this option right here which will create a PDF document. Once you save the document then you simply click continue and now we're going to activate your mobile money account. So we click continue the setup process for activating that. Now at this point all you have to do is call this number right here. We're going to record your voice which again is part of the safety factors that's built into it. Listen to simple voice prompts, record your name, and you're done. Then click continue. If you've already created your account and activated it through mobile money, then you just click this. Okay, now on this page, you're going to have a number of options that you can change as far as the settings, features, and functions that are built into your system and that work both with your phone and or this web presence portal that you'll have. So if you want to change any of those, you can. And once you've made your settings and changes, you simply click update your settings and continue. But you don't have to change anything. We're simply showing you that these are some of the options that are available. Once you've made your changes, or even if you don't, you simply click update settings and continue on to the next step. And that completes the sign up process for both Wave 10 and your mobile money bank account.